take on the number 14 Florida State Seminoles in the ACC opener. Playing Murray straight up defensively, and he hits a high drive deep to left field. Going back is Elijah Cabell at the warning track, and it's high off the blue monster and in play. Murray trots around first. He's going to come into second standing up. Wednesday, 0-2 pitch, line drive, and that's going to find its way through the hole into right field for a base hit past the diving Carter Smith. Ethan Murray trots in to score. Rothenberg with his 15th RBI of the season, and Duke takes a 1-0 lead. 0-1 pitch. Loperfito hits a hard line drive, short hop, then bobbled by Jackson Green, picks it up, throws to first, and nabs the speedy Loperfito by a half step. Wind up and the 1-0 pitch. Knight drills it out toward left field. Elijah Cabell goes back a couple of steps, and he dropped it. It popped off of his glove. Wide turn at first. Knight's going to scramble back. Deal with that injury all through last season as to why he might be off to the slow start this year as Albert swings through a nasty breaking pitch. That one bit down in the zone, and Jarvis has another strikeout, and there's two outs in the inning here in the fifth. Balls, two strikes, two outs. The pitch on the outside corner called strike three. I think Smith might have been looking for something different, and instead Jarvis was able to freeze him in his place, and that'll do it for the Florida State Seminoles in the top half of the fifth inning. We're halfway through in Durham. It's Duke with a 1-0 lead over FSU. So over the years, Rudy Maxwell, after the first pitch foul ball, hits a bouncing ball to the right side, fielded by Jackson Green, whose hat goes flying off as he fields it. Runner at second once, now the 2-2 pitch, ground ball, left side of the infield, backhanded by DeSantis, fires to first, and gets Ethan Murray by a step. He made that one look routine. Five feet, that, or that's how I always felt about it. 0-1 pitch, breaking ball, ground ball to short, fielded, 